Hello everyone, I'm Arrow. I'm trying to make a videos for AD Carry. The video is about how to improve and climb as AD Carry. Uh, we're gonna watch replace together and I will tell you what was my mistake, what could have I done in that situation, or what was enemy's mistakes, etc. etc. Uh, let's talk about the league before we jump into videos. If you wanna win league, you need to use these informations. There are lots of informations like such as a, in the champion there's a cooldowns, skill cooldowns and hit the box. In the items, ward, pink wards, uh, combat items, BF sword, blah blah blah. Objectives like dragon, baron. So there are such a many things. And then if you use these information with the five head, you can win easily, like easy clap baby. So yeah. That's the my purpose, using this information correctly, telling you guys, and we can improve it together. Let's watch the first game. Alright, uh, first feedback about the 2v2. Let's watch it. Bard used the Q. Set the Hazzy, go forward. Phase rush. Dead. So let's go back. What was our mistake? Our mistake was after this set is ECC and we chunk guard, we got the exhaust, so we just trade our summoners, right? So this was good for us actually, but because the set moved forward here for two auto attack, now we are not able to survive because he had a nim uh, phase rush, so he could actually run away from the ashes, passive slow, bard Q slow. But since he's uh, just went forward, and now he can't get away from that position. I didn't go forward because I got exhaust and there is no way we can kill bard just one shot. We used everything already so we are not able to kill that bard because ashes still have a heal, bard still have a flash. So this is our first mistake. Okay, this is talking about how to trade even if we are 2v1 champion number but we have a waves, right? Let's see. So what was wrong for Ash? Let's go back. Here. So if you auto attack over this wave. This is very common mistakes for AD carry, but you don't want to trade against AD carry and against enemy minions. Because this Ash actually hit this Lucian, that means the minions gonna hit you and there is a cannon wave. There is actually I am 2v1 trading with the cannon wave. The cannon wave is basically champion damage. It's a lot of damage. And then, it's very important. You just watch the bard's position. Your bard just wanna push the wave and leave. But right now, you just forced the trade to me. So I just figure, like, I just noticed, okay, I can just trade here. Why do I need to be afraid? I have minions, I have skills, just hit the ash, easy clap. Yep. Third one. Hard to use it to kill. So what was the mistake from Ash here? Let's go back. 
Okay. The feedback should start from here, and then how can we execute people? How can we punish them? Right? How can we punish them? Uh, we can punish enemy with using informations, with gathering informations. So what was our information? Let's think about it. First information. Bardi used the W. What it means, he doesn't have a speed buff. Because that the W has a speed buff like 30%, right? So he doesn't have it anymore. And then watch it. Ash no W. Like this Ash used W here. What it means does no slow. It's no slow for set. Keep watching it. Oh, what was it? Oh, uh -huh. he just used the part of the Q. So, with these informations, we just found found the, every information what we need to have. W move on speed, bar the Q slow and CC Ash W used it already. So it makes set run them down. Now set will just run it down. If Ash do not respect the range of set Nimbus Cloud <coughs> and then Q move on speed. So how could you have a move on speed like here? Just uh, you have a Q. Your Q give the move on speed and then this ignite. You are being in this ignite range. Yeah, you may you, you can maybe dodge. You could dodge set as E angle. But if you're being ignite range, that ignite will have Nimbus clock. Right? So it is very simple. Now, set actually run them down with the using informations. I found the informations, run them down, and CC it. So here, this is uh, one tricky moment for me. I moved the backside. Why? Why? Because I know I have information of Ash has a flash. This Ash has a flash, huh? and I have a flash. But for my skill, yeah, of course I have a Q, so I can try to auto Q fast enough. But Ash can flash run away, right? So. I just move backwards for making an angle of Lucian, like Lucian Q. You move this behind the angle, so you can actually straight lane. So I'm gonna move downside a little bit, right? So if a bar to go to the upside, that's gonna be this straight lane. So let's see what's gonna happen. <gasps> That's it. You, do you do you understand my point? Like, yeah, you could trade a flash. You could just assume that Ash is bad. That he won't be enough. Like, he won't be good enough for uh, pre uh, reacting your flash timer, right? You can assume that, but every people can react flash to the flash. So, why would you do that when you can just have a one opportunity with the uh, using this simple trick just to use Bard's body and my body you know uh, in the mathematics dot dot if you straight that's uh I don't know what it, what it calls it's a line it's a straight line it's like targeting hitboxing hitbox ash so I know it is a very hard it's not easy but at least you saved your flash and then you got you just got free kills being good at lucian q is very important as a lucian player so keep in mind so after that kill 
we push the extra wave, we go trying to go home, right? I got exposed by Ashes E. But right now, if we think about it, I don't have money for BF item. So, I just hide on bush using my pink ward advantage. Because, just think again, Ash used E this anger to me. And then I was pretending, I was just showing that I, I want to go home. And now, he think I went home because I'm not showing anywhere. That's the power of vision. And then, just knowing about, you don't have to go home right now. You can just use your 2v2 strength. Just abuse one more time. And then she faced that bush because she wanna pink her and then having a vision. And she died. That's it. And now I'm so fed. Look at the item difference and my level actually item difference. So basically I can carry the game, right? But Kindred was top side and I'm slow pushing the waves right now. Let's watch fast. And I'm dead. Keep. So what was wrong? And what should I done? Let's go back. From the beginning, when we know about the Kindred. Basically, you are way too strong right now. 4 kills, Assassin's River against the Vampire. Kindred showed the top side, right? So what it means, if you have your R, even if you have no summoners, if you have your ultimate, you are not gonna die against this Kindred Ash Bard because you can just W and R running away. If you hit your W, that makes it you can have a move on speed for 60 right now. And you can just R that target, so W hit it, and then R and run away, you can just 3v1. But now, I uh, I didn't track Kindred right now. I should have th thought about Kindred was could be base right now, he might come back here. And then, I should think right now, if I save my ultimate here, I can just do 1v3. But, I wanted a WR just randomly to the Ash because I wanted to deny this a cannon and she was in the range. So I pressed R and wasted. Now, after that ultimate is showing, Kinder just red smite me and then killed me. Look back at it, yeah, maybe I, c I wouldn't be able to kill those three people, but if I had R and W, I can actually survive no matter what. So, keep in mind, your ultimate is very very important. Okay, this is my other Lucian game, but I made a mistake and I wanted to show you guys uh, this is very important as a carry. So look how I die. So you can see the items. I'm pretty fed. Essence River versus these champions, and then we know about the Kane. He has W uh, CC form. I think it called the Darkin, right? So we were looking for killing this Kane. But look what happened. So we died. So how could we know about me and what should I done? So he did a word here and I clearly don't know. That's why this cane could hit me a double. But the thing is I don't have to be there. Like I don't have to be in the range of a cane W. And then I could predict or I could react with my flash or just to think the future like okay if 
maybe there is a possibility it's worded this bush and then I just do not give this K and W range then I'm gonna be fine but I was clearly just move forward because Kane looks like he will die if I go there, right? And then I didn't even use dash. I can just react. I can just use E to the upside or flash. So it's just so basic mistake. But I made this mistake because you didn't think about it. You need to think earlier than this. All oh, right, Kane is a dark in form. W has a CC. If I see W motion, I will flash it. Because Ashulu already like moved here to help this cane, and then they will CC chain me with the Lulu W or Ash R, which happened here. So don't die like me. It's so Pepega. Okay, this clip is actually useful for whoever having good lane phase but just to die against the top laners or like cannot win or cannot carry your whole team right just look at the f look at the situation what's gonna happen your top lost it we lost the top turret keep thinking about that and what's gonna happen here We tried once for ganking karma and then we failed it, right? But now we are pinging about the set. Yo, set might be here. Because our Camille talked about it. Where's the set? Hey yo, we don't see set. Yo, we don't see set. Yo. And now look at this bully bear. Your jungler bully bear is actually pinging the bush here dangerous. Why? Are you pinging the karma dangerous? No. He is thinking about warning to you thinking about set. Enemy set is not showing guys. Be careful. He wanna roam. And now Ta -da -da. Hello. Guess what's gonna happen here? I'm gonna make a volume down and watch for extra speed. We are taking free turret and just to feel how that feeling. Just to feel it. Died. Dived. Killed the Caitlyn bot. Died. Camille got killed. Died. Look at this teleport. Teleport. Flash. E. Died. And now you gotta check set side hand. Look at it. We won! We won everyone! We won! This is it! This is not play the game! Easy clap baby! We are thinking, we are using information, we are respecting enemy, we won. Okay, if we summarize these clips, uh, first clip, set over step, he used the flashy and he died. Uh, it's important, you should not overstepping. Because you, you might die like this. Trade with the minions, even if you were 2v1 against Ashbard, you trade with the cannon wave, you winning trade. Check count enemy skills, do you remember it? Uh, Seth was counting those skills. Uh, Bard Q, Ash W, the slows, they don't have it, and Seth just run them down. Calculate Lucian Q anger, so you could save your flash. Uh, when you play Lucian, it's very important. Keep in mind, Calculate that anger. Dot dot straight line. Uh, abuse vision. You don't have to go recall. You didn't have to. So just pink cord and hide on bush. Because there is uh, so many situations. Uh, so many people just uh, just auto push after they come back. So maybe 
it's not guaranteed, but you might get free kills. And then uh, other situation, uh, Lucian died against the Kindred. Lucian died against the Cain. Caitlyn survived against Seth Romy. Of course, he died it, but basically, Seth Caitlyn was a respect enemy, roaming timer, right? So, uh, if we summarize that situation, I think it is thinking the future, uh, use the information you have it, and then be ready about those situations. If you don't ready, like Lucian, Kindred die, Kane die, if we make a mistakes, you're gonna die. But if you are ready, like Caitlyn situation against the set, you carry the game. Yeah, I mean, Caitlyn, that game, it, it wasn't up to Caitlyn, but because you survived and you burn, it just, you burn uh, Seth's mentality. Seth mentality, boom, go away, you, you get free win. So, keep memory, and then, I might have a bad English for explaining about anything, but thanks for watching this video, and I hope it helps you guys. Bye-bye!